Yep, that's right. We did it. First ever engine build. All right, guys, this is my fully built Mazda Speed 6 engine. It's going to be going in my wide body Wild Speed 6, but this is, of course, the short block. It is not fully built yet. I still have to put the head on. Now, what I did to get to this point is I had the cylinder walls bored to 88 millimeters. 87.5 millimeters is stock, so I had them bored out just a little bit. Now that'll help with power a tiny bit, but mostly you're just resurfacing the cylinder walls so that your pistons will be perfect. Now, I had the machine shop do all the work for me. I just took them my pistons and asked them to follow the manufacturer's recommendations. So they did, and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. What's left from here, guys, is I'm going to need to put my head on there that I just barely ported. I also still need to put my oil pump and my oil pan on. Then I've got to put the whole timing assembly together and then we should have a full engine. This is definitely the hardest part of building an engine is the short block, getting the pistons, rods, and crank in. It's just really tedious and takes a while. So I'm quite excited that it's done, but I hope you guys are excited as I am to see this baby in the car. To get to this point, all I've done is install the ARP main studs, oil squirters, and the purple balance shaft delete plug. All right, boys, we have King Racing bearings, King Racing main bearings. All right, boys, we got the bearings in, the black Molly engine assembly lube. I was recommended this by multiple people, so we'll see how it goes. All right, boys, it's time for the crank install. We got our crank. I hope it looks right. I'm nervous for the first one, guys, but I think we're all right there. We got our bearings on our girdle. I'm gonna put some assem assembly lube on it. All right, boys, I have these nuts all tightened down. Now they need to be finally tightened for the third time to 70 foot pounds. So I'm gonna start with the middle one. Always start in the middle, then you spiral out following Mazda's sequence. Oh, there we go, 70. Now I gotta hurry and do the rest. All right, boys, if we did this right, it should spin very freely. Oh, oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh yeah, that's some good spin. Let's go. All right, boys, one last check of the crank. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna flip it over, put pistons and rods in. All right, boys, we got our manly forged rods right here. They are quite beautiful, if I do say so myself. Now, I really like these because they are affordable and they are quite strong. Should be good for plenty of horsepower, especially if you're going for a pump gas tune. These are my Molly 2618 pistons quite excited to be running these because they are very very strong and they should be capable of a lot of horsepower they are also very well designed and I'm interested to see how they do for a daily driving 
application, but let's install these bad boys to the rods and get her going. We got our piston. And we got a wrist pin. See the wrist pin on the side. Insert the rod. Make sure it moves freely. Now I gotta put the clip in so that it is all secure. All right, we got our piston and rod. We got our clip. And we gotta get this clip right in there so that that wrist pin will not move. So. <sighs> we didn't manage to scratch it up too bad, but the wrist clip is in there, both sides. The rod moves freely, so I think we're set. Now we've got all the rods and pistons. All right, boys, we got our piston and our rod connected. Now we gotta get these grooves filled with some piston rings. Oil ring goes on the bottom. Now this one you can walk on, which means you just spiral it on like that so we got one of these little oil ring guide things rings I don't even know but it goes in between that so we got one on top now I got to get the other one on the bottom Let's put that motherfucker right there spin it around All right, once you have your oil rings on, should be looking something like that. So you got that oil ring in the middle and then the two guide rings on the sides. All right, now we need to put our compression rings on. Now this one is going to go in the bottom groove, right there. You gotta walk it around and do all the things. It's gonna be hard to put these rings on on camera, so I'm just gonna put them on by themselves. But this black ring goes on the bottom. This top one goes on the top, right there. So I'm going to assemble them, then I'll show you what it looks like. We'll get these bad boys in the block. Alright boys, we got our rings on our pistons. And we're going to get the bearings on and put it in the block. All right, we got our piston and rod combo ready to go in. It's time to slot this baby in there. So I gotta sit you guys down for a sec. All right, boys, we got our rod down in there. Now we gotta put the cap on. All right, guys, as you can see, I do have the finished Mazda Speed 6 engine. As you can see, I did put the rod caps on. Sorry I did not film that. I guess I missed that clip, but looks pretty good. The biggest thing is you just got to make sure every little inch is perfectly clean as you're putting it in. You got to clean the bearings right before you put them on, all that good stuff. But just make sure you follow Mazda's guides. Now, 
All that's left to do to finish the engine completely is I gotta slap my head on with the head studs. I gotta time the engine, put the oil pump and oil pan on, and then it should be indeed done. If you guys want me to finish this even faster and get that video out, follow me on Instagram, maybe message me and say, hey, finish your engine. I would really, really appreciate that. But other than that, I will catch you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day.